before Senator uh, Wyden joined us, uh, I was talking to uh, Mark uh, Stanley from Demand Progress. So Mark, um, if you're still there and, uh, and willing to chat with me, I was reading this quote from a letter, an open letter that Demand Progress signed on to, which made some of the same points that we just heard from uh, Senator Wyden, that the Earned Act ultimately would provide no significant benefit to law enforcement and would not be effective in addressing the crisis of production and distribution of child sexual abuse material online. Instead, it would sacrifice the security and privacy of all Americans that leave them susceptible to online dangers. So how is this going to impact people who are, who are uh, just everyday Americans, ordinary folks, not doing anything bad or illegal online? How is it going to threaten their free speech? How is it going to affect their privacy? Can you talk to me about that? Yeah, absolutely, Dayton. And, and thanks so much. And, um, you know, my organization, Demand Progress, we've been at the forefront, along with Fight for the Future and Senator Wyden on some of the biggest um, battles for internet freedom over the last decade. You know, Senator Wyden mentioned SOPA PIPA, uh, you know, net neutrality, mass surveillance, um, but there really are few issues as important to internet freedom, you know, to our privacy, our free expression, our security as strong encryption. So, um, you know, of course the fight to maintain strong encryption at this point is like really decades old. So that end, I do wanna thank uh, Senator Wyden, uh, Fight for the Future, Tech Freedom, everybody on this call, for their continued work um, on this issue. So of course, as has been said, um, uh, you know, everyone on this call, everyone fully supports the goal of stopping child exploitation online, of course. You know, as a new father, it's incredibly important to me. However, um, this bill, as Senator Wyden, as, um, as Ash said, would seriously endanger civil liberties and security while making it actually more difficult for law enforcement to protect children. Um, First, by jeopardizing encryption, uh, which of course ensures communications and online activity can't be you know, hacked um, and seen by third parties, this bill would make nearly every American, everyone across the board, less safe uh, by exposing people to cyber attacks and unwanted surveillance. Um, you know, encryption is absolutely vital to security on a number of fronts that includes national security and infrastructure, economic security for the businesses that depend on it, and of course, our personal security. You know, so it helps our privacy. Uh, it's, it would help, it's what helps ensure our privacy online and our confidentiality and in turn our confident, our ability to be confident uh, that, that, you know, that we can freely express ourselves without undue um, surveillance or security breaches. So uh, the Earned Act would create a commission uh, headed by the Attorney General um, to ostensibly combat child exploitation, but this commission is extremely problematic. And um, it's problematic because it would be headed by, um, you know, Will Attorney General William Barr. And as Ash pointed out, it really is no secret uh, what uh, Attorney General Barr would do with the power that he would be given. Um, over the years, he's made it extremely cl uh, clear that he wants to severely weaken encryption by forcing technology companies to create what are called digital backdoors, um, you know, that can be exploited by law enforcement to access personal communications. So if online service providers weren't to follow the guidelines set out by the DOJ and Attorney General Barr, which could in, uh, include eliminating encryption altogether, they could be stripped of the uh, Section 230 protections. And Section 230 is of course the law that, um, you know, our friends at Electronic Frontier Foundation have described as quote, the most important law to protecting internet speech. So it's, it's extremely important uh, for free expression. Um, so really, you know, better training, better personnel to address child exploitation, that's what's needed. Um, if we eliminate encryption through the Earn It Act for certain services, it would simply push criminals to other communication options. Ash and Senator Wyden mentioned the dark web. Um, and it would do this while ensuring that ordinary citizens no longer enjoy the benefits of encryption. So going back to the statement you opened up with, Dade, and this is really sort of the, the foundation of the, the issue and the problem here. If you, if you eliminate encryption for a few or you try to, um, you're not going to see the benefits that you, that you think you might, um, but everybody's going to suffer from it. Everybody's going to enjoy less, less privacy, less security, less free speech. Um, this has been something that's been discussed and, and verified over the years, going back to, going back to the 90s and, and the crypto wars when this debate was raging um, decades ago. So ultimately, encryption and online privacy, I just want to make this point, they're really vital to free expression. It's, it's what gives ordinary people um, 
uh, that are accessing sensitive you know, health services or engaged in political organizing, uh, the confidence to know that their communications and their online activity are safe. So especially now when civil liberties are under attack by the government, when political organizing is on the rise and so crucial, we really need to um, maintain this online security and maintain encryption. It's really vital. So uh, Dayton, uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody else. And thank you to Senator Wyden for joining today and uh, really glad to be a part of this effort.